hi guys welcome back to my channel my name is Agilan. thank you so much for checking out my channel and if you're new here you're welcome please subscribe if you have not and don't forget to turn on the bell icon so that you get to know anytime i post new videos and for my ogs thank you so much for always coming back to watch my video so today we are going to be making this trendy two dress for a birthday photo shoot so if you're interested let's get started all right here i have my body's pattern and i believe that uh, for my old um, subscribers you already know how to draft a fitted basic bodies for a baby girl and if you're a newcomer in the house i'm going to drop the link in the des uh, description box so that i get to know how to draft a basic bodies pattern okay so i'm going to take start with the front one which is this right so this is the front one so i am going to um put another paper on fold and then cut it out exactly as it is so here i have it already so this is it on fold i'll be using this one now to illustrate how you go about cutting your satin and how to cut out the net so this is it i'll just keep this aside now look at it here let me just place it on fold i just cut it exactly out as it is so this is for a two year old so you can work with your own measurements so let me keep this aside now i am going to open this up okay this is my basic bodice pattern and this is the center line okay let me just draw that out this is the center line so now how do you uh, mark or get your net all i'm going to do now is to mark half an inch remember that for this side um sewing allowance it is half inch that is for mine yours can be quarter or even 0 0.75 depending on what your comfortable working with as your seam allowance so this is the half inch there and i'm going to mark that out as well on this side so this is the half inch side sewing allowance so now uh, for the net i am going to connect it straight this is how it should be like a crisscross so it should go this way Okay, it should go this way down to this shoulder line and this other side also should go this other way down to this other side as well so now after knowing that you will have to check what you have now from this point to this center point so mine it is five and quarter and it's the same thing with this other side as well it should tally very well so it's five and quarter then i'm going to multiply that by eight whatever i have is um the inches i'll be using to make the ruffles on this front side okay it's very simple if you want it more fuller you can multiply by 10 okay but it should not be more than 10. so I'll just divide what i have here okay just divide what you have here and then multiply by eight or ten or even five now for the length of your ruffles just place your tape because it will be crossing this way so you need to place your tape like this to know the length okay so for me this is 12 inches that is what i have here remember that the waist and sewing and the shoulder sewing allowance is already included so this is 12 this is going to be the height of my net should be 12 now and then i'm going to multiply this to check what i have this will now determine um what i'll be using so whatever you have here now you are going to multiply by two because the same thing will go over to the back side i hope you understand so now for example if i let me just multiply this all right like i was saying after multiplying what i have here it is 5.25 multiplied by 8 it is 42 inches all right so this is to say that this particular side our the width of my net should be 42 inches and the same thing goes to this other side it should be 42 inches as well that is the width now for the height of your net like i said 
this front if you place your tape from the shoulder from this shoulder point down to this point it is 12 inches that is for this front okay so i'm going to take the back now to check what i have as the height now this is the back pattern and your net will not be crossing over so it's not going to be a crisscross at the back it's going to come down straight to this part because we'll need the space to attach the zipper allowance so it will just come down straight to the back straight as it is so i'm going to check what i have for the back so for the back it is 8.5 so i'm going to add that to the 12 inches which is what i have for the front so this is 8.5 and then this is 20.5 so each of the height of each side of my um, two should be 20.5 that is to say for the both side now is going to be 41 inches that is the height of my net I hope you understand this part okay so for this back you're going to also uh, mark the half inch for the side so this point now is going to be your center point for the back this is the zipper allowance is not it should not be included so this is the center back so now I have uh, 20.5 for each. Remember that your net now, we are not going to be joining on the shoulder side. So we need to minus this um, half an inch for the shoulder allowance. So all I'm going to do now, since the front, we calculated 12. So it's going to be 11.5. That is the height of the front side. While the back, it is um, 8.5. So it should be 8 because the back side also your two should not have any joining on the shoulder okay so it should be eight inches so everything now should be 19.5 that is for both the front and the back height of your net so this is how to go about it so this is the net now we, we are done with it the next thing to do is to um know how to draft out the satin you know we're going to add satin inside it's not going to be plain okay so you can add satin or duchess or taffeta whichever one you prefer to use so that one is very easy all i'm going to do is to straighten up this armhole line or oh, sorry this chest line i will just straighten it up this way okay if you want you can still cut it off here because by the time you attach your tool it will cover up this opening here Okay, but for me, I normally go up by, I'll go up by half an inch and also connect it straight. Okay, this is for a little child. I don't want it to be free. Uh, for this style, it needs to be tight on this chest line so that it will not be moving around. Even though I said it needs to be tight, it should not be too tight to be a problem for the child. Okay, so this is what I have. I'll just cut this place off now. It's just like as if you want to make an off shoulder dress. So I'll just cut this off, okay? So now I'm going to start with my net because that's the important part of this tutorial. So I'll just start with my net, like I said. I'm going to um, start with the 42 inches. So I'm going to mark that out and then we continue. So here I have the 42 inches folded for easy cutting. So I'm going to cut this part off because I don't want this rough edge to enter so I'll just cut it off so now remember what I said that I'll be using as the length it is 19.5 um, for each side okay mine is 19.5 so you can work with your own measurement so I'm going to mark the 19.5 now this is going to be for one side and I'll also mark another 19.5 for the other side and it's as easy and simple as that so after marking it uh, marking it out now I'll just take it to my sewing machine I use my gather stitch to join it on both ends so after doing that you're going to gather it now to the waist measurement okay you're going to gather it to the waist measurement and also on the shoulder line you will just you know adjust it to meet up what we have here okay if you want to open it up a bit is now up to you so let me just quickly cut out the second one and then gather the two so we can finish up 
so here i have it all cut out this is 42 inches by 19.5 remember that is what we are working with okay so this is the width 42 by 19.5 so the first thing i'm going to do now is to mark i remember i said that the front um the front side of my tool should be 11 0.5 so i'm going to mark that out on my net this is going to give me a guide um, as how the um, it's going to give me a guide for me to know the particular place to put or to allow my net to sit exactly on the shoulder line okay this is just to enable me know where to place my net on the on the shoulder point so i'll just mark the 11.5 and connect it straight then I am going to use my gather stitch and run it as well. After sewing that, and then you're going to sew the ends uh, using your gather stitch as well. So I'm just connecting now so I can sew this to the end. All right, I've done this already on the other one. So after connecting now, just use your gather stitch and sew it. And then you're going to have something that looks like this. Okay, so this is it. So this part is the longer as you can see this is 11.5 and this is the 8 inches from here which is the side that is going to be for the back side now this is what i have so the next thing to do i am going to close it up this way and then join this part that is open together so i'm going to stitch this and then after sewing it i'm going to turn it inside out at the end of the day this part now will be inside Okay, we're going to have something that looks like this. Okay, so let me just quickly um, stitch the uh, sew this one and then join this part so we can finish up. All right, this is it. After um, using my gather stitch to run it, and as you can see, I've gathered this as well. This is the second one. So now this part, remember, I said that you're going to be um, using the of the shoulder method to cut out for this side so i just did that and i use um, the same satin as my lining and then i join this neckline and this armhole so you, i repeated the same on the back one so we're going to join the sides together before um, adding this to the front or better see you can still add this to the front and you will still have your allowance and your space for the side sewing allowance so i'll just take this now i'll open it up this way okay so this is the front together with the lining and then i'll open the second the back one okay so you need to arrange it to know where it should be so this should come in this way so i'll just open it up like this place it over the front one and then i'm going to stitch the side together so this is for the this other side so i will just go ahead then open it up and then i'm going to stitch the sides together before we now join this on the waist line all right after joining the sides this is what it looks like so i'm going to give it a good price but before that um, i'm going to show you how to join the ruffles now to this front side so now this is the center line and for the back side i am going to notch the one inch for our zipper allowance so that the zip uh, the ruffles will not get to the zipper part so i'll just notch that place okay so this is the one inch here then i'll open it up again So on this center point here now, I am going to place, take one of these and then I'm going to take this part that is longer. Remember that is the side that should be in the front. So I'll now take it and place it on the waist like this. Okay. But here I'll make sure that this will be like um, half an inch on this side. I will not be placing it exactly on this center line. I will just move away a bit towards this side by half an inch. And then I'm going to stitch this on this waistline. 
so when you want to stitch this make sure that your lining is separate so after stitching it here now we are now we will turn it to the back side okay so that we can um, join it together with this side so let me just use my pin and hold it here because I need to give this um, satin a good press before sewing this on it. So let me just quickly pin it here and show you how to do the back side. Alright, I just pinned um, this part. Okay, so I'm going to take this other side now. Remember that this should be coming on this back side okay and now at this point you can see why i said that the chest line should be a little fitted so that by the time the child uh, put it on it's going to fit very well but you can also add a little strap here you know how kids behave sometimes you can just add a little strap just to hold it well on the shoulder okay so i'm going to turn this now this is the right side of the back one i'm going to take this and also pin it starting from that one inch that i that notch uh, one inch notch i did here for the zipper allowance i'm going to start from there now and pin it also for the back side now you can see that i have my space for my zipper allowance i'm going to pin it that way down to this side side seam okay so i'm going to pin this so whatever I did here, I'm going to repeat with this second one and then I'm going to place it on my um, mannequin and show you how it is. Okay, it's very easy. Just follow this uh, method and you will get it right. So after pinning, you just stitch it very well. So I'm going to repeat the same thing now on this other side and then like i said i'm going to show you the look on a mannequin all right i just placed this on my mannequin so that you can see how it is so after moving it to the back side i just pin i've not joined it um uh, on the waist side i just pin it just to show you so this is how it will look like i said earlier you can also add a strap to it it will not be visible it will help to make um, the dress to you know to be strong on the shoulder line so that it will not be you know moving around okay so I'm going to pin the next one as you can see I'll just pin the next one on the other side and turn it over like a crisscross like I said earlier to the other shoulder and move it straight down to the back side it's very easy just put your mind to it and you will get it Right, so that is it for today. Please subscribe if you have not and I will see you all soon.